For 100 subscribers, I made an expensive burger. For 200 subscribers, I'm now making an expensive sushi roll. The four stars of this sushi roll are gonna be king crab, lobster tail, paddlefish caviar, and uni. With all the ingredients put together, this sushi roll is gonna cost about $75. To get started, I'm gonna break down the king crab leg, and then remove the lobster meat from the tail. Once the lobster meat's removed from the tail, just cut it in half and then skewer it on wooden skewers. This is so the lobster doesn't curl up when it's steaming. Get a steamer pot ready and drop in your lobster tails for about two to three minutes. And then steam your king crab legs for about five to seven minutes. When the crab is done, use a pair of kitchen shears to cut away one side of the shell. This will ensure that you can pull out one solid piece of crab meat for your sushi roll. I want to add some depth of flavor to this uni. It's usually really briny and salty like the ocean, but I want to add some smoke to it to give it a different flavor. Here I'm using pecan wood or pecan wood in a smoking gun, and I'm just going to put it underneath this glass dome and let it sit in smoke for about 15 seconds. Uni is pretty delicate, so if you smoke it for too long, it's just going to taste like an ashtray. I didn't show cooking the rice. It's pretty straightforward, but if you want to see how I make my sushi rice, click the little card in the top right corner to take you to an older sushi video that I made. Don't put too much rice on the seaweed, because if you do, you'll just get mouthfuls of rice in the sushi pieces. You just want enough to cover the first three quarters and leave a little bit of a gap so you can start rolling. Now I'm just sprinkling on some sesame seeds. So this is gonna be the outside and then I'm just gonna flip it over and start filling. So here we go. We're gonna start with our lobster tail and then we're gonna go ahead and put our king crab right behind it. I'm also gonna add some scallion for a little bit of an onion taste and some avocado for a creamy feel. You want to be confident when rolling sushi or you'll mess up. This roll is a bit big, so the roll isn't as tight as I want it to be. And you got some spillage on the sides. I'm going to cut the roll into eight pieces, but it's all about confidence. And if you're not confident with ear cuts, you're going to mess up and get irregular pieces of sushi like I did. Plating this, I'm just going to put it on the fancy black slate like I did with the burger and then start topping it with the uni and then come back over it with the paddlefish caviar, and then lastly, sprinkle over the 24 karat gold leaf. So there you have what I like to call the million dollar roll. This may seem like a lot, but every flavor plays off of each other. The paddlefish caviar has a really nice nutty flavor, and the uni has a briny and smoky flavor that pairs well with the sweetness of the lobster and king crab. Thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I really love making these videos, but I could use some help reaching new viewers. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and most importantly, share it to someone else. And as always, subscribe for more.